Hey guys, time for a video blog. We have a lot of stuff going on here at Scale Garage and at GCM Racing, and I want to bring you a whole bunch of updates. Uh, some of this stuff you might be excited about, some of this stuff your wallet might not be very excited about, and some of it is just for show because we love scale and we love doing videos and rig reviews, and I'm sure you guys have been watching this blog or probably have been seeing all the rig reviews. We've had Sang and Dana doing a couple by themselves, and just, I've really enjoyed watching those. Those guys are a real riot to get together. And uh, we got a whole bunch of cool stuff going on up here with the GCM rigs. And so, uh, first of all, let me talk about axles. I think that's kind of the theme of the day today because there's so much going on with axle housings around here. Uh, you guys, some of you guys have been waiting for a long time for our new uh, SCX size axle housings to come out. That would be these ones right here. And, uh, yeah. So, let me tell you why you haven't seen those yet. The problem with these housings is that to make them scale, the front one has to be offset pig in the front. And that means that we have to come up with our own drive axles for the front. And now, I bet you you can't count on both your hands the number of different drive axles that all your buddies like to use. If you have 30 guys in a group of SCX owners, I bet you there's 10 different drive axles in the front axles. There's this kind of CVD from this company and this guy is running such and such a stuff and this guy is running axial and this guy is running RC four wheel drive drive axles and this guy is running dog bones and the problem with that for us as a housing manufacturer is that as soon as we start making an offset housing we got to create a set of drive axles that stays in the housing forever that you guys will think is a reliable set of drive axles and that if you need parts we got enough parts to supply that's the issue the reason that the the new housings are not out yet is because the front is an offset the offset requires us to create a brand new set of front drive axles that's going to be reliable that's going to be affordable and that you guys are going to be able to get parts for if you need them. So, that's why. And until we have that solved, there's no way we can send those out to the public because nobody wants to set up a very nice looking truck that they've spent a lot of time on with a brand new gorgeous set of drive axle housings under it and then have a problem with the housing, uh, with the driving in the housing, the, the axle in the housing, and not be able to get parts. And you know what? I don't want to disappoint anybody by sending off a set of drive axle housings that doesn't have good equipment inside because we all know how you guys are going to drive these things. So that said, until we get the actual drive line parts fixed and finished up for the new axle housings for the SCX size, then uh, we're not going to be able to offer those yet. So uh, be patient because we're working on it. And when we find a solution that's going to be reliable and strong enough for everybody, we're going. Now, that brings me to the next axle point, which is metal heads. Uh, a ton of you guys have got these A13 metal heads. This is a Wraith size, by the way. Uh, this is a Wraith front housing. Um, tons and tons and tons of calls and emails and notices on forums. When can I get another set of these aluminum A13 metal head Wraith housings? Uh, well... You're right, we haven't manufactured them since January, and yes, that's a problem, and yes, I'm very sorry, but the store has been, has the manufacturing side has been busy with a whole bunch of new products, which you'll see soon enough. And these, we now have in the schedule for July, which means that if you've been waiting for an A13 metalhead housing in SCX size, in Wraith size, in uh, Panhard, or with the servo on the axle, centered in the rear or offset in the rear standard six by six we now have all the stuff figured out to do a pinion on both sides of these so you can actually use this as a drive-through axle for a six by six if you want stuff like that we will make it all we're dedicating basically most of july to doing metal head axle production between the sex and the race so that's going to be a lot of axles and what that means is in order for us to make sure that we get all those out by the end of July, we're going to open up the pre-order for these probably middle of June. So 
there will be a couple of new option listings in the GCMRacing.ca website. There's the link right there if you want it. You can uh, pre-order these middle of June. We're going to manufacture them in July and we're going to ship them at the end of July. So that means you guys will get these all around the world somewhere first or second week of August depending on your shipping uh, selection. And I'm sorry that you have to wait so long for these, but uh, it'll be worth it because we're going to make up a whole bunch of extras. So we should actually have a bunch of stock in stock for the rest of the summer. So, well, summer up here. If you're in Australia, it's not summer. So, that's the axle update. That's the axle update for the new housings that are coming out for the SCX size. That's the axle update for the A13. And now we're going to talk about axle guts. Because, uh, of course, this is a last locker from GCM. I suddenly realized, after Joe Ferguson thankfully did an, an install video with these on his, uh, I'm pretty sure it was his Red Devil Recon. I'll link that below. Uh, I realized I have never done a last locker install video. We've talked about these a hundred times. You've seen them in the Wraith drive axles. I've used them on rig after rig after rig. And I, of course I use these in all the offset axles because uh, these have set screw clamps right here. Ding, ding, ding. Both sides. So you can actually set screw any length of axle into here. And they're huge. And Creeper Bob loves making titanium axles for these because you can drop them right in and crank them on and they never fall out and they don't break. And Anyway, last locker. So... You'll find a link for these down below if you want. We continue to manufacture these. In fact, the newest process we have for these makes these more accurate than they've ever been ever. So we're pretty excited about the new methods that we're using for some of our manufacturing. And you may see that in a little bit of quality increase in some of the products. Although you may not. It's mostly just process. Anyway, I'm also going to do a video on a last locker install because I've got some neat tricks that may help you guys get these into your trucks really easily. Some guys have, have commented that they've had problems getting the axle actually centered between the two set screws and I've got some pretty neat tricks to do that no matter how big your axle is so keep in, in tune with that. I'll, you'll see it on the video channel of course if you're watching this blog you probably know that you're subscribed to the channel already. Thanks very much. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, anyway you're gonna see one of these. Next! Big video blog series is coming out. It's basically instructional videos, but we're going to come up with a brand new Rubicon upgrade series. So, something like, uh, okay, I have an RTR Axial Rubicon. Ta-da! And uh, I think I want to uh, put a panhard kit on it, so... Um, can you show me how to do that? Do you have any instructions on how to do that? Yes! We're going to make a brand new video series on how to turn your Axial Rubicon into a full GCM loaded rig one step at a time, one step at a time, one step at a time until you've got it all on there. That's coming out very soon. Probably, I expect we'll have that done sometime June, early July. So keep watch for that because we're going to end up with these little video series uh, sections coming out. Part 1, 2, 3, 4. Kind of like what we did with the SDX Dingo upgrade series. Link below. <clears throat> if you go to the GCM Racing home button on the YouTube channel, you'll find all that stuff on the playlist. So there's going to be a whole bunch of SDX upgrades coming out. And they're going to be focused exactly on this baby. Let me get this out of the way. This thing is our... Uh, what a workhorse this thing is. So, you guys have all seen one of these. I mean, this is just an Axial Rubicon. I got rid of the tires, the treps that were on it, and put on these 2.2 uh, with old Proline hammers I had kicking around. By the way, I love these, but they're just nice and wide, and they're, oh yeah. So, and this is bone stock. <coughs> Completely bone stock, except, of course, I think for a Dean's connector. So, um, there you go. That thing is going to get a complete upgrade video series. We're going to start off with the front end. We have, uh, we're talking about like links, panhard kit, three link bracket in the front. We're got, we've got a brand new item which is actually a super old item that uh, Aaron actually revived here on the channel with his honcho rebuild. It's the servo mount plate that also does a four link. That's coming back out. 
we're going to add that to this truck so we can keep the steering on there. It's going to be one step at a time. So you'll see this thing upgrade in one moment at a time. First we're going to put the four link in the front and all metal links. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're going to switch the front end to a panhard with a frame servo. And then we're going to do the back end with a GCM four link in the back. There's already a four link in the back but we're going to put a metal part on there because, well, you know, it's plastic. And uh, we'll tell you a few tricks along the way. We've got some fantastic links coming out for that that we're going to try to host on the site here at GCMRacing.ca. Then we're going to start off with the whole motor relocation combo kit, talk about that whole thing. And as this goes along, you're going to see some new products come out on GCMRacing.ca. The new products are going to be a front end Rubicon Ultimate Combo Kit, which is going to be a panhard, a front servo mount, dual or otherwise, depending on your selection, a full set of front links, everything bolt on for this beauty and we'll also have a set for the shorter wheelbase truck as well so all that stuff's coming out keep tuned to the channel and uh, <clears throat> in the meantime poor Sam here he's uh, gonna do a transplant on the red uh, two-door skeleton it's going from brushless to a very custom built brush motor Poor Sam. This is a heavy load for this small guy, you know. I'm going to help him out. <coughs> Whoa! Don't drop that. More coming out. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep in touch.